In this particular video, I shall be teaching you how to get the number of divisors and the sum of divisors of any number points, no matter how large that number is. I shall break down the concept in this particular video for you guys to know how to get it so well so I can answer so many questions. Okay guys, let's get started. Okay, great guys, we shall be using the method of prime factorization. Let's have our table displayed on screen. So friends, let's start with a number that is 2024. So friends, ask yourself, what operation shall we be using guys? We shall be using the division operation. Now guys, let's start with the smallest integer that can divide 2024. As you all know guys, this is an even number. So we start with 2. 2 can go in 2024 guys, how many times? It can go 1012 times. But friends, 1012 times can be divided again by 2, right? So 2 can divide it again, how many times friends? 506 times. As well as 2 can still divide 506. So 2 can divide 506, how many times guys? It can divide it 253 times. Great. At this point, friends, 2 can no longer divide, right? 2 cannot divide. But friends, what can divide uh, 20, um, What can divide 253, guys? Of course, 11 can go all 23, but we start with the smallest. So 11 can divide 23, how many times? It got, um, uh, 11 can divide 253, how many times, friends? It can divide it 223 uh, times, right? It can go 23 times. As well as, friends, what else can divide 23? Of course, 23, guys, is a prime number, right? So only 23 itself can divide it. So it divides it one time. Okay. Now, guys, we love ones. Whenever we see one, guys, we know that we've ended. Now, friends, 11 means that 2024 can be written as 2 raised to the power 3 times 11 times, two, times uh, 23, in which you can see it as 2 raised to the power 3, uh, 11 raised to the power 1, 22, um, 22 raised to the power 1. Great. 11 means that, guys, to get our number of, of uh, divisors, that is n, we simply take the powers, we, we take 3, add 1 to it, multiply, we take the next power 1, add 1 to it, multiply, take the next one 1, add 1 to it, and multiply. So this is what we have, friends. Therefore, means that if we sum up everything, guys, we get the number of divisors to be the same as 16. So this, our value has 16 divisors. To get the sum of divisors, guys, it never means that we are now going to take each of our prime factors. We are going to take uh, 2 is to the power 3. We start with 2 is to the power 0 plus 2 is to the power 1 plus 2 is to the power 3. All that, we do the same for 11, guys, and for 23. If we do that, friends, and simplify we have an answer of four hundred of four thousand three hundred and twenty, uh, of three hundred and twenty. Great. So guys, that's it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you love the video, guys. Share it all with your friends so, so they can have access to great content like this, friends. Have a blessed day, and I'm coming back with another video.